Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another Dying Light video and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a glitch that will allow you to get overpowered gold tier guns in Dying Light. Now, a lot of people actually told me that after the latest update, you can actually now get gold tier guns in Invasions. So that was a really cool thing, but a lot of people don't know that there's a small glitch that will allow you to get those gold tier guns with the highest damage possible. Now, when I say overpowered, I just don't mean 8,995 or 10,000. By that, I mean you can get up to 30,000 damage on your shotgun, the way it used to be when the following came out. So if you guys remember, during the release of the following, we used to have a shotgun that did up to 36,000 damage, but they kind of patched it. But now with the latest patch, you can get gold to your guns with up to 30k. I've seen only 30k till now, but I don't know if there's more. And this glitch can be done on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. It works everywhere. So this is how the glitch is done. So the first thing what you're going to do is you're going to create a new save with the mission packed with Royce. And as soon as you create this mission, the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to try to level up yourself. And the best way to level up yourself will be to go in the quarantine zone, which will be stuff turtle in this case. So go to the quarantine zone stuff turtle and collect as many results to leave packages as you can. Now, in order to level up yourself faster, I will let you know that you need to at least collect 200 disaster lift packages. So, if you give 200 disaster lift packages in the nightmare mode, you can become legend 1 because that's what you need. You need to become at least legend level 1 and make sure you have the mission packed with the right selected. Make sure you do not complete the mission, but just level up yourself, okay? When you, once you become survival level 25, it will say that you are level 1 now, which will be legend level 1. So once you do that, now you can check your store, you will see the damage for the weapons have been increased for the firearms only. But here's the thing, you don't want to do anything with the store. What you're going to do is you're going to make your friend join you as a hunter and you will actually destroy one of his nest and then tell him to drop out. You will keep repeating this procedure till you reach the rank underdog. Now once you reach the rank underdog, you will start getting gold weapons, right? Once you start getting gold weapons, Keep on doing this, repeat the trick again and again, destroy one of his nest and tell him to drop out. That way you keep leveling up and that way your rank will increase. And once you get higher rank, like I'm saying above underdog, you start getting better gold weapons. And while you're leveling up, there's a chance for you to get a gold tier gun. And if you're lucky enough, you can get some gold tier weapons that actually do overpower damage. Now I've got golden hunting shotgun that did so much damage. I think it was 30,000 damage that it did. And the other one was like 26 or something. I don't remember, but it was really, really high damage as soon as I got it. But remember, when you get those guns, you won't see high damage on it. You might probably see 8,000 or something, but you need to give that to your friend who is legend level 250. And then that's when you will see the actual damage of the guns. It's a really stupid glitch. A lot of people think that getting legend level 250 is the reason why you see so much damage. Well, I agree it does, but here's the thing. The max damage with the latest patch was 8,995 for all the shotguns. Now, if you guys don't agree with me, go check your store right now and the max damage shotgun you can find will be 8,995. I'm 100% sure about that. And I'm talking about the engraved and the, the hunting shotgun. Those are the shotgun which do 8,995 and the rest on are just shit damage. So with the help of this glitch, you can get up to 30k. Now 30k is a really, really overpowered. It can destroy literally anything. Any demolisher zombies is just one shot. If you have played Dying Light since 2015, you know we had 36k damage shotgun and how much overpowered that was and the reason they nerfed it and made it 8 or 9k. Uh, I mean, it's obvious why they did that. So it's a really overpowered gun, but hey, it's the thing, the game is not going to be broken because you're not going to use this thing in the PvP because in PvP, everything is normal. This shotgun is not going to be overpowered in PvP. It's going to do the same amount of damage just like some other shotguns. So not to be worried about that, all right? Now talking about the glitch, I'm going to repeat that again. Make sure you create a new save with the pack with the rise the mission. And while you're in that mission, you're going to make sure you level up and become at least legend level one. Once you do that, you will see that the items in your store has been glitched and the firearms do pretty much really high damage according to your level. So that's when you know the glitch is working. So you're going to make your friend join you as a hunter. And when he joins you as a hunter, all you got to do is tell him 
that you're going to destroy one of his nests and he's going to drop out so you get the win and your level increases so your rank your online rank will increase pray a casualty and like it's going to keep on increasing and then once you get underdog you'll see that you'll start getting gold to your weapons and let me know guys if you enjoy this video and try this glitch it's a really awesome glitch it takes time because of the glitch being patched but on playstation if you have an ethernet card you can do the ethernet card glitch the dropout i'm not sure if that still works but yeah there's another glitch that i have actually i'm going to be working on that soon and i'm going to release it as well so yeah make sure you wait for that as well and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye